I didn't know what to call this video. The previous two were cooking with Jake, but today I'm actually going to bake. Uh, if you've subscribed recently because you want to see videos about Monzo, then I'm sorry this is probably not quite the content you were hoping for, but it is somewhat related. Because the reason that I'm baking today is for a work bake-off thing that my team is doing that I apparently wasn't allowed to opt out of. So it's Sunday afternoon, uh, I'm going to bake something. I asked on Twitter for some suggestions of what I could do, some people suggested scones. Um, never baked scones before. I don't think I've ever actually baked anything before. Uh, but I'm going to try to make some scones today. If you haven't seen my previous cooking videos, the theme is I'm not very good at this stuff. If the scones don't work out very well, I've got some chocolate chip cookie mix as a backup. This should be much easier to make. I've looked at some recipes and some videos about how to make scones. It, it looks doable, um, so let's give this a go. Alright, I think I've got everything that I need. Um, Butter, milk, caster sugar, and self-raisin flour. Sachets of baking powder. It was the cheapest one I could buy. Probably gonna want some salt. Got some eggs. I think that's actually everything. Let's deal with the butter first. Every recipe has slightly different amounts of each ingredient, uh, which is kind of annoying. I've just sort of averaged some of them. I'm gonna go with 100 grams of butter. Okay, that's a decent chunk of this, I think. Right, we've got 98 grams there, uh, that seems fine. I saw other people had it cut into cubes, so I'm doing the same. Alright, uh, this is softer than I thought it would be actually. Let's just leave that to the side. And next, the self-raising flour. Also, some people use non-self-raising flour, like, that doesn't make sense to me. Oh, this is making a mess. Um, I want 500 grams of this. Oh, that's the whole packet. Wow, that's a lot of flour. I was like, I'll buy the smallest one because I'm never going to use all of this. Turns out I need all of it in, in one go. Apparently also want some baking powder. Let's put a sachet of that in. Pinch of salt. I never know how much a pinch is. I'm gonna be careful with this though because I don't want salty scones. Now I'm gonna add the butter into this. Oh, that's very soft. That's lovely. Put the butter in. Then somehow I mix all of this together. It's supposed to turn into a breadcrumb-like texture, apparently. Oh, and of course we need the caster sugar. I'm gonna go with 50 grams of caster sugar. I don't know what the difference between normal sugar and caster sugar is. Okay, this is 54 grams of caster sugar. Let's put all of that in. It doesn't smell very nice. I suppose it is a little bit like breadcrumbs. I'm not sure how many scones this makes, actually. I'm guessing about 15. Okay, this, this looks like it's done the right thing. This is good. Now I'm gonna add milk. And th this is where the internet differs the most. Uh, some people add egg here as well, others don't. And the quantity of, of milk is not very consistent among different recipes. I've got some whole milk and I've got some eggs. I actually got some shell in there. I'm gonna start with 200 milliliters of milk uh, and egg and see how that turns out when I mix it together. Although I'm not really sure what I'm aiming for here in terms of uh, texture and consistency of the, the dough. Is this dough? I don't know. I guess so. It's 
still smells horrible. It's not filling me with hope. I don't know whether to use a fork or a spoon on my hands or what. Oh god, it's very sticky. Oh, this is horrible, it's like goo. Does that mean it's too wet? I guess the flower's not all rubbed in yet. Ah! <laughs> Get off my fingers. can't believe people choose to do this. Oh god. Let's stick to the fork. Now it's like scrambled egg. Oh, it's not going very well. Also, there's still flour not mixed in there. I think I need more milk and or egg. Oh, now it's super soggy. Where's my flour gone? Oh, no, there's none left. Damn it. <laughs> I've got um, normal non self raising flour. I think I need to add a bit of this. Oh, look at that gooey ball of... Oh, I don't know what this is. Oh, this is hard work. Okay, it's all combined. I don't know if it's too wet or not. It just doesn't really look like other people's on the internet. They also say don't mix it too much. I think I'm a bit past that now. Let's go with this. Let's find out what happens. I've made quite a mess here. Flour. This, I don't know how much. Probably not that much. And... Try to turn this into separate scones. Oh, it's really wet. All right. This looks okay. I want them to be like a few centimeters thick. That prob that's probably okay, actually. Right, next problem is I don't have a cutter <laughs> to cut these out with. Um, I did look at them in Sainsbury's yesterday, but they're expensive. Beautiful. I think my options here are either I just tear it into pieces, use a knife, or use something like a glass. Let's see if I can cut them with a glass. The answer is no. <laughs> oh, kind of. It's, it's fallen out the wrong side, but there's one. Also, this hasn't made anywhere near as many as I thought it would. Maybe it's too thick. Oh, didn't cut that one properly. This is working quite well, actually. Well, relatively. I've got seven so far. I'm running out of space on my tray. Last little bit can be one on its own. The last thing to do is um, brush the tops with the milk and egg mix. Uh, now, I don't have a brush, but I don't see what's special about it. I'm, I'm just going to do it with my fingers. Just rubbing them all with my milky fingers. Just a little bit more sugar because I'm paranoid about them tasting horrible. Right, I think they're ready to go in the oven. Hopefully I haven't forgotten any crucial steps. I think they take like 10 minutes in the oven. Wish me luck. Alright, while they're in the oven, um, I'm going to also make the chocolate chip cookies. All you have to do with these is stir it together with two tablespoons of water. If I manage to mess this up, then I'll be very disappointed. Two tablespoons of water doesn't seem like enough for this. Oh, this one smells nicer. 
Why is it not working? It's just gone into crumbs. What am I doing wrong? 30 milliliters of water, two tablespoons. So that's what I put in. Stir together with the water until you have stiff dough. And it's even got a little diagram of somebody with a wooden spoon in a bowl like this. Maybe it needs more water. Okay, it's starting to stick together more. I don't know whether I'm supposed to roll them out or just leave them as dollops on the, the tray. I'm gonna go with dollops. Maybe I'll get cookie bowls. <laughs> that sounds gross. <laughs> we'll find out soon. I've never made these before. Oh, that's seven. I can't count. Let's make eight, like it says. Just scoop a bit off all of them. Uh, make a new one. Good. Oh, there's my timer for the, the scones. Alright, these take 12 minutes on 170 degrees, yes. Alright, let's see how the scones have turned out. They don't look awful. Let's put the cookies in. Alright, I'm gonna try them. For the scone, I've got strawberry jam and some clotted cream, which I've never bought before. I have had clotted cream on scones. It looks kinda of gross. Hopefully, uh, the people at work tomorrow don't mind that I've already taken a scoop out of it. Oh, it's very crumbly. Kinda of just falling apart. It's kind of not done enough in the middle. Let's try a bit on a done. Hmm. I don't know which I prefer putting on first out of the jam and the clotted cream. <laughs> Looks a mess. Um. Maybe a bit too much cream on the top. I mean, with the jam and cream, it's not bad because these things taste nice. It could have turned out worse. I think I can feed these to people tomorrow. All right, now the, the cookies. Um, I obviously didn't put any effort into these. Uh, I, I just mixed up the, the, the powder. Okay, I think I should have taken them out earlier. That's very crunchy. I feel like these taste nice regardless of how baked they are. Like, you could probably just eat the mix and it would taste nice. They, they are too well done though. I feel like my, my easy backup has turned out worse than the scones themselves. But overall, I'm moderately happy with these. I've got something I can take to work. Hopefully the rest of the, the decisioning squad enjoys them as well. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.